Sticker Shack for Milwaukee County. The Parks Department presented options for the future of the Mitchell Park Domes and what they'll cost to repair. Christina Van Zelst is live with the reality check county supervisors got today. Kim County supervisors were stunned when they heard these costs and they explained the county simply just does not have this money. As for what's next for the domes, that might be up to you. For more than 50 years, the Mitchell Park domes have welcomed thousands of visitors. It's a beloved landmark. But is it time to say goodbye? The county says the domes are deteriorating. Now the Milwaukee County supervisors are weighing what's next. Really face the reality that costs are killing us and costs are potentially causing the destruction of this property is just very sad. The Parks Department presented the Committee on Parks and Culture with these options. The cheapest would be to demolish the domes at $4.7 million. To repair the domes, it would cost $22 million. Another idea is to restore one dome and build a new conservancy and event center. That would cost roughly $49 to $53 million. For a total restoration and the most expensive option, that would be $67 million. These costs are just frightening. We're really at a precipice at a point where we're making a huge decision for Milwaukee County. And to hear these costs, we just don't have the money. Supervisor Sheldon Wasserman wants to let the public decide. He says they plan to look into a binding referendum, meaning you could vote for the option you want. They will actually have to increase their own property taxes on it. So they will make the financial decision. They will bear the cost. Tuesday, the committee did not make a decision as they grappled that the cheapest decision could mean tearing down the domes. The next step for this will be a public hearing here at the domes, but that date is not set yet. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News. Christina, I have to ask, how many people actually use the domes? Yeah, so according to the Friends of Domes organization, they say in February they had more than 22,000 visitors, and they actually say that their membership is at an all-time high with 4,000 members. So it appears a lot of people do use them. Very good information. I'm sure it will be considered. Thank you.